Well, hello everyone. Don Balance here at New Tech with another live Facebook Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to be dealing with working with IP cameras in an NDI workflow. Now, very recently, New Tech released an application that makes it very easy to work with the Panasonic line of PTZ IP cameras when you're working with NDI on a network. Now, this is called New Tech Auto Link for Panasonic PTZ cameras, and it is available in the New Tech store right now. So the way it works is we will get that application downloaded and we will run it on a PC that's on our NDI network. And when we do that, that's going to show up right down here inside of the icon tray. Now I can open that up and any of the Panasonic IP cameras that are on the network will show up in this list. Now we only have one currently hooked up and it is showing up right here and I have the ability to either give it a check mark or take that check mark away and that is determining whether or not it is actually taking the video from that camera turning it into NDI and putting it out on the network. So we're going to say yes let's go ahead and have that camera out on the network as an NDI source and next to the actual camera, we have the IP address of that camera, and that's going to be very important. We're going to use that inside of our production system to be able to control this camera. So we have this camera set to put its IP out onto the network as NDI, and we're just going to go ahead and leave it checked like that. Now, we're going to come over to the TriCaster. We happen to be using a TriCaster 8000 in this example. And now that that camera's video is out on the network, I can look at my NDI sources and I can bring that NDI source from that camera directly into my production system and I have that camera right here. So now this has nothing to do with physically controlling the camera. This is just the video signal it was put out onto the network via NDI by that application and I'm picking that up in here. I'm not physically controlling the camera yet but you can do that as well. So we're now going to go down to our PTZ tab and within the PTZ tab, we've got this camera coming in on input number one. So when I click on the little gear, we're going to tell it, yes, input number one is a PTZ camera. What type of PTZ camera is it? We're working with Panasonic across Ethernet. And then this is where we put in that IP address that we got from the application on the PC that was running it. Now we have control over this camera and we can move and we can move this camera around. So I can move it up and down, I can move it left and right, wherever I want it to go, I can zoom in and out. And all this is being done from the control surface, you could also do it from the interface, but we've also set up a variety of presets of course, and we can very easily go to any one of these presets just by clicking on them. Those presets also can be reached from the control surface as well. So as you can see, by utilizing this new software package, which is Nutex Auto Link for Panasonic PTZ cameras, we can not only bring in the Panasonic IP video across the network as NDI, but we can also control these Panasonic cameras directly from Nutex production systems. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any comments or topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. And we'll see you again next time on another Facebook Live.